Hello, my name is Madison Pierce, and when I'm taking on a leadership role, I choose to avoid only giving orders and expecting positive results. This is why my leadership style can be considered more like a coach than a boss. I strive to help my peers in being independent workers so that they do not need me to guide them through tasks. Before I assign my colleagues a particular job, I make sure that I understand how to complete it beforehand. That way, if my team members need support, I can provide that. However, I will not simply tell them the answer to a question, but rather I will help them to come to the correct conclusion on their own. For example, in school, I help tutor my peers in math class when I have free time. Though I do not tell them the solution to a problem, I will walk them through the process of solving the problem so that they can solve future problems without my help. I do not want my peers or teammates feeling dependent on me. Instead, I want group members feeling connected when working together and capable when working independently. This allows for everyone in the group to grow as people, better preparing others for when they need to be leaders. This coach mindset helps to establish what my leadership strengths are. If a team member cannot complete an assignment they were given, I'm always willing to listen to their side of the story to make a more responsible judgment about their work. I am flexible with learning and work styles and can adapt my leadership and teaching style to any environment so that my peers can become more efficient. I'm also capable of understanding when I need to assert more authority amongst my group members. Sometimes I'm placed in a group that does not respect me, but I am able to become more stern to generate that respect for myself without becoming overbearing or unnecessarily repressive traits that simply do not help with a project's progress. I co-founded the American Sign Language Club at my school, and I continue to help students learn the language by teaching various signs and explaining grammar rules. Before starting the club, I did not think about the struggles that teaching so many kids would bring. I would constantly have to re-explain topics in different ways for each student with a particular learning style to understand. With experience now though, I have become adept at conjoining different teaching styles and implementing new ideas for studying sign language to make sure everyone understands quickly so that we can cover more ground in less time while maintaining that proficiency. I would not change anything about this learning experience, and I hope to go through similar experiences while studying at Agnes Scott College. With a close-knit community and a variety of clubs and organizations, I know that I will have a plethora of opportunities for expanding my leadership skills, along with developing interpersonal skills and becoming prepared for professional leadership roles in the future. My studies will help strengthen my education in particular areas, but the activities provided outside of academics will help strengthen my character in ways a curriculum would not be able to do. Agnes Scott is a fairly small college with a limited population which means that I will be able to get personal assistance without worrying about not being listened to or being considered just another student. I greatly appreciate the individualism that Agnes Scott provides, and I know I will benefit from it.